Hi, everybody, and welcome to our new podcast, What is Critical Theory? My name is Dr. Tristan Cabello, and I'm the Associate Director for the Master of Liberal Arts at the Johns Hopkins University, and also teach a core course entitled Critical Theory Every Year. This course is very popular among our students in the m and program, but every year, current and prospective students are asking me the same questions. What is critical theory, and how can this help me? Now, there's no easy answer to that. I know how critical theory has helped me and my research and my perspective into the liberal arts, but everybody thinks differently. And so this year with my students, what we've decided to do is to record a podcast uh, about the course so you can get a wide variety of perspectives and opinions before you decide to take the course or join the program. And today I'm joined by Anna Atre, a first year MLA student. It's good to see you, Anna. Good to see you too, Dr. Cabello. Pleasure to be here. Great. So I have a, a few questions for you about the course. Um, and the first one is, as I mentioned in the introduction, there are many definitions of critical theory. Uh, what would be your own personal definition? My definition of critical theory is that it is a mingling of ideas that have been used over human history to critique power structures and make sense of how we live. However, those ideas are not disconnected. They, mm -hmm. Many of them influence each other. And uh, applying these ideas and theories to the world can actually spawn new ideas. So critical theory is something that's not static. It's eclectic and mm -hmm. is always uh, evolving and expanding. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah. Um, how has critical theory changed uh, your perspective on the liberal arts, on your research? Yeah, I found critical theory helpful in preventing me from approaching situations very rigidly. I'd say critical mm -hmm. theory has given me a toolkit to help me see situations from multiple angles. And after having taken the critical theory class, I'd say that critical theory has helped me in the sense that I can apply several lenses that we actually learned okay. to to many situations in my life, whether it be my work, my studies, or even leisure reading. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So uh, we are studying uh, many theories uh, during the semester, I think a total of 14. Um, and, and I would like to ask you, what is the one that really stuck with you? What is the one that you preferred? What is the one that really helped you uh, with your uh, academic career in the MLA program? It's a very good question. There are a lot of interesting theories. If I was pressed to pick one, I would have to say it's new history. Okay. For what reason? Yeah. So new history, I think the best way of defining it is by thinking about what it is not. The yeah. technical education systems we have teach us that there are universal fundamental laws that explain the nature of our existence and that history is a linear progression of events that can be represented as a unified whole. New history questions the credibility of those assumptions. Instead, history really needs to be seen as a series of events that can't be simplified into a reductionist narrative. And rather than fundamental laws, it's best to look at each of these events in terms of conflicts, the competing interests, and the prevalent discourses. Yeah, very good point. Um, so because the semester is only 15 weeks long, sure. um, we cannot explore every theory sure. uh, that would be available for us to explore. So at the end of the semester, what I ask you to do, what I ask students to do is to pick a theory uh, uh, to explore and to explain to the rest uh, of the course. Uh, can you tell us w uh, what did you choose and, and for what reasons? I picked existentialism. Yeah. The, the nature of the MLA program is such that it encourages us to, to throw ourselves into new topics and ideas that we hadn't previously yeah. covered. Existentialism was a theory I was curious to learn a lot more about. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, so to summarize, if there is, you know, uh, one thing uh, that you'd like to say to a current or a prospective student in the MLA program, you know, a, why do you think it's important to study critical theory? 
Critical theory definitely has instrumental advantages. Studying it will help uh, MLA students in other courses in the MLA program providing more informative analyses, um, not just in the MLA courses, but also in other departments. I've had professors from the cross offerings tell me how much they enjoy having MLA students in their classes mm -hmm. because they actually apply critical theory in discussion posts and also in their essays. But I think more importantly, we live in times of unprecedented consumerism, significant misinformation, growing polarization and prolonged social injustices. A person who studied critical theory has the capacity to formulate multiple interpretations on each of those happenings. It can help them remain authentic and stay grounded, and it can also help them carve out their own distinctive path in life. I know. Thank you so much for this. That was uh, that was that was excellent. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to to speak with us today, Anno. I'm sure that this conversation uh, was particularly inspiring and enlightening to to our students and to everybody who is watching and listening. Uh, stay tuned for our next episode. It's coming uh, in two weeks from now. Thank you, Anno. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you.